Hello. Well, yeah. Well, yes, of course I'm here. Where else would I be? I know it's Sunday, but we got people moving in at the beginning of the month. And... Well, Kathy, of course I think the problem with Debbie is serious. Yes, of course. Look, like I told you, it helps me to Ruby, think Ruby, when I'm working. Sense. Well, it distracts me. Debbie just needs to hear that we love her and that we're concerned and that Stan Snails is a huge asshole. No, no, that, no, that's not what I'm gonna say. No, Kathy, Kathy, shh, Kathy, shh, listen, okay. I'm working on it. Well, I'm working on that too. Like I said, that's right, it helps. All right, I love you too. And Kathy, don't worry about it. I'll think of the right thing to say. Debbie! Deborah! It's too adult. Need to keep it, keep it lighter, less confrontational like one of her pals. Hey, Debster, what you shaking? Let's say you do your mom and me a real solid, and let's just have a sit down so we can rap at you, you dig? Groovy. Shit. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I should just sugarcoat the hell out of it. You know, Debbie, your mother and I, we, we like Steven. We do. He's he's interesting. He's not too tall. He's uh, not too good looking. He's not too smart. But he's interesting. <laughs> he's got a lot to offer someone uh, other than yourself. <sighs> That's it. Shoot straight with him. Debbie, marrying Steven and being his chick in New York, well, it's... It's not a good idea. Now, I know he thinks he can get his band a, a gig at Hebe Jeebies or whatever, and that Fernando's cousin Consuela is sleeping with three of the bartenders. Well, it's not a guarantee. And even if it was, I doubt very seriously that there would be a big time record producer with a suitcase full of contracts just sitting on the front row ready to sign up the blood farts. God, Debbie, you're only 17. But Dad, when you and Mom got married, she was only 17. Now, that's, that's true. But when your mother and I got married, I was 18 and tolerable. Stephen Snells is 23 and an asshole. What about all the money we put aside for your college? But Dad, you didn't go to college. Honey, I wish I could have. Remember when you were little? You were all over the place. I turned my back for a second, and there you'd be on top of the kitchen counter, ready to swan dive onto the linoleum. <sighs> Seems like only moments ago I was there, 17 myself, trying to work up the courage to ask your mother out. I blinked once, and we were together. Oh, I blinked again, and there you were. Another blink. And now you're standing there next to Stephen Snells. Maybe I should just let her go. Yes, maybe I should just let her go. That way at least she can come back. That's it. That's, that's what she needs to hear. She needs to hear that she can always come back. That her mother and I will have her life waiting for her when she's ready.